Hey everybody, it's me, Tara Michelle, aka Opinionated Sense. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel if you are a repeat offender. This is my top five sexiest perfumes. Now keep in mind that this changes. My opinion changes, my feel changes depending on the season, depending on my mood, what's going on in my life currently. However, over the past year, all of 2020, I decided that I was going to choose the fragrances that, one, are very sexy to me, that when I put them on, I feel sexy. And if I put them on and then I look at my outfit and I don't feel like it's good enough, it will actually make me switch out my slacks or switch out my blouse. So that effect. And then also the most compliment getting, the most crowd pleasing, where I've maybe stopped people in their tracks or they've made me write the perfume down so that they could go and purchase it or purchase it for, you know, their significant other. I thought that that would help me narrow it down and it really did. So let's go ahead and get into it. In the number five spot, we have C by Armani, the other parfum. This is a beautiful fall winter fragrance and it is extremely sexy to me. Oh. It's so creamy and smooth with a little kick of spice. I'm pretty sure everybody's heard about this one or has owned it or currently owns it. It is definitely a top 20 favorite for me. This is probably the most elegant and classy. I see a woman wearing um, a business suit or dressed up to the nines for the company holiday party or just this is way more of a regal elegant scent. Um, with still being very sexy. This is very sultry. This is going to entice you. This is the fragrance that, you know, maybe the jazz singer in the club is wearing on the days that she's not wearing jazz club. So beautiful, beautiful fragrance. So rich. Beast mode, um, siage, projection, longevity, all top marks across the board. Number four, we have the Niglia by Mazzolari. Um, again, this is the sweetest, most cupcakey. I mean, icing like vanilla I've ever owned in my life. And it's exquisite. And I'm not one who tends to like overly sugary scents. But this is done in a way that the sugar is just like pure. It's not burnt or doing too much. It's just magnificent. This is quite pricey. The only place I know you can get it from is Lucky Scents um, in the United States anyway. So, um... Yeah, but I think it's worth it. I think it's worth it. It's absolutely phenomenal. One of my favorite vanillas. Number three spot is Mon Guerlain Intense. Eau de Parfum Intense. These long names. This one is the powder bomb to me. Oh my God. It smells like powder and with a little bit of spice. This is so dreamy. Like it is just... You're just going to, first of all, the siage and the projection, come on. When you walk into a room, people are going to just follow you with their eyes. Some of them are going to stop you and ask you what you're wearing. Others are going to, going to want to hug you and hold on a little longer. Um, well, at least before COVID, because keep your distance. But this is very crowd pleasing. It's a, it's a conversation starter because I've actually sparked up conversations with people by, based on them just asking me, what are you wearing? You smell so good. What's in it? Tell me about that house. And then the next thing you know, they're like, you should start your own YouTube channel. <laughs> so um, this is very, very good. It does not smell that much like the original or any of the other flankers to me. This definitely has its own spin. So I don't think they should have called it intense because it's just too different from the original, in my opinion. Outstanding. It's too different. Number two is the original or the parfum. Mongolain or the parfum. And... Come on, this is my baby. It's my favorite perfume of all time. Mm. Lavender and vanilla. Carla Lavender and vanilla. So, um, yeah, if you haven't gotten your hands on this, I don't know where you've been. Ultimate in femininity. This is sensual. This is sexy. This is my best compliment getter. And um, I just, I can't say enough about it. If you've watched any of my other videos, then you know I've talked about this. I love it. So simplistic, man, and yet created something so stellar. My number one sexiest perfume, this, listen, it's La Belle by Jean-Paul Gaultier. The bottle itself is exquisite. Um, the juice inside is even better. 
It's pear, it's vetiver, it's vanilla. Sure, they probably have a whole bunch of other stuff in it, but this is what you get from this. Give me, give me, give me. No, my smell. It doesn't matter where you smell. Oh my god. This is this this is so so close to Mongolan or the parfum for number one spot. It's not even funny, but Mongolan just holds a place in my heart. But this one here. Guys, this is the one that you want to wear on date night. This is the one that you can wear all year round to me. I have worn it all four seasons and love it. I love it just as much in the cold as I do in the heat. Actually, in the heat, it sweetens up on me. And you got to be careful with, you know, sometimes with vetiver in the heat. That, that may not always work out in your best interest. But for me, this is exquisite. And I love her. So... I hope you like this video. I want to see you in the comments. Please don't forget to subscribe, click the like button and the notification bell. How else am I supposed to know if you like me and you want me to keep making these things? Let's grow this channel. So until then.